Hi, uh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lavish we here and a big thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. You are awesome, awesome, awesome. For those of you who are new to my channel, what I do here is some hair, makeup, beauty, fashion, vlogging and a lot of perfume reviews. Yes, if you have not already subscribed, you know what to do. Please hit the subscription button along with the notification bell. Please watch my videos and leave me some thumbs up. And guys, girls, women, men, don't forget to comment in the comment section as I'm enjoying the interaction with you guys. And that is how I'll know my channel is growing. So please, please, please do subscribe and do comment and don't forget to like these videos. So yes, without further ado, let's go right in and talk about what we are here to discuss. So, I've just done the Ariana Grande Cloud review, unboxing and all that. So, I had to jump straight in to discuss this Baccarat Rouge um, 540 by Kirk Dijon. I hope I'm pronouncing his name well. Um, anyways, so yes, I have a little sample bottle that I've purchased off eBay. And also, um, I've got the Ariana Grande fragrance. And what I wanted to say about this is, I have smelled the Kirk Dijon um, Baccarat Rouge 540 in Harrods and in Selfridges before. And it's been around for some years now. And this was a long, long time ago. But the price was not to my liking. So I did not purchase it. I did splash it on and make the most of the tester. But yeah, and I was like, if I get this as a anniversary or a Valentine or Christmas prayer, I'm not gonna say no. I'll be like, yeah. But yeah, I did not purchase it. Um, so that, that is that. But anyway, I have the little sample that I've purchased and, um, and the, once I smelt the sample, it brought back the memory and the day when I had smelt it in the shops before. So, yes, definitely, definitely, um, this is worth talking about. I've been hearing left, right, and center. They are saying it's, um, Ariana Grande is a clone for the Baccarat Rouge. So I'm just coming in to give my own um, take on this issue. <laughs> so let's start first with um, the Baccarat Rouge. Let's talk about the notes and that. So this is the sample of it right here. And then let's talk about Baccarat Rouge 540. So this um, fragrance has top notes of saffron and jasmine. And then in the middle note, it has amberwood and ambergris. And in the base, it's got um, fair reason and cedar. So those, it has six notes in the back of a road. I'm gonna open it because I've already sprayed, um, the Ariana Grande Claude on this wrist. I'm gonna now put the Baccarat Rouge on this one and then I'm gonna tell you what it smells like. Oh, so let's get it on the wrist here. Just a tiny tat, y'all. That's all you need for this one. So, I've gone ahead and put it on my wrist there. So, already, it is radiating all over this place, y'all. The smell that comes from it, it is a lush, unisex, musky, cedar, um, smell that, that you get this luxury, um, strong smell. 
it's you don't I don't even have to put my risk to my face it is projecting extremely well in here this is a very warm spicy smell that's radiating it smells aromatic and fresh ish um <laughs> i said fresh ish because it's um strong of what it smells like it is a very anomalistic smell like like beast mode like very intimate and intriguing like very luxurious it it smells of money it smells of divine fragrance if i can say that it smells grandeur oh this projection y'all i wish you could smell it through the video because there is no way to really describe this fragrance apart from you really smelling it for yourself and determine what you think because i can only describe this fragrance as intimate luxury grand but it has it's the the combination is so stunning and strong um that you are feeling empowered and very mm, very sophisticating and it is unisex definitely you can smell but you can smell man with the with the with the vibes that it gives and you can smell woman so i think 50 50 for the sexes like it's on a balanced card but still beautiful i'm not gonna i don't wanna there's nothing to discount with it and like i'm saying it smells woody and you can smell the amber but it's just notes that you can pick one up but the overall combination it is a beautiful piece it's like if you have a mona lisa and you are saying it's a beautiful piece of art then this baccarat rouge 540 you would say it is a great piece like like you know but move it no like for me i don't need to spray this again i've just used it on my hand and it's still on my wrist so let's let's smell it what i would like to say in the comparison between the two i give the ariana grande it's a softer more feminine feminine vibe compared to Baccarat Rouge because with the Baccarat Rouge you definitely get the vibe that a man could wear it potentially while with the Ariana Grande it's the mask is very feminine and not so masculine so the difference with it 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 doesn't smell identical um it kind of smell like I would give it maximum 65% a leg because I'm combining the two as we speak now and I'm giving it 65% a leg. Um, the Ariana Grande is a more youthful version of the Baccarat Rouge. The Baccarat Rouge to me, it's more mature and more fierce and strong and with the back of a rouge it lasts like beast mode it lasts a good 16 hours so if you would wear it from eight o'clock in the morning even 10 o'clock at night when you're ready to shower it is still there 
and also it even lasts longer on your clothes so if you spray it if, if like the little tester i've put it on my clothes and it is lasting smelling in my wardrobe on the clothes still like it's faint but you can still get the whiff of it on the fabric so it is beast mode compared to ariana grande so with the ariana grande it's definitely smelling similar but it's not same in my opinion it is it it's a good replica replica so definitely just get like the same trail kind of but like i said 100 percent that the ariana grande is a softer feminine vibe from that and um younger while bakar roach is a beast of humanity that combines of more strong masculine um powers like even a strong feminine woman like really strong so a more mature luxury vibe going on not that ariana grande doesn't have a luxury feel to it because it's got similarities but it's just more toned down than the baccarat rouge so is there anything else i would like to okay i want to say that hands down bakura rouge is a very um unique um unisex uh fragrance but like i said a more mature feel and everyone would not necessarily love bakura rouge um so i don't think that is for everyone so i think with spending so much money um you best wait for the shops to open and go in or if you are in a country where the shops are open go in and give it a smell and make sure it is up your street before buying it blind um and if you buy it blind i don't think it would be a bad purchase it does get compliment and sniff so it is great because but with ariana grande now for the price like i said even if the lost in power is not to die for because of the price you can top up whenever it's worn it's it's worn off so it's not the end of the world and for the price to get something that smells very close to an expensive luxury brand it's a winner so so i would not discount this one um because it doesn't um hold the price but it's close enough to call it a clown clone clone what am i saying clown the cloud clown anyway yes um tongue tied there but in honesty i would still want somebody to buy me the baccarat rouge 540 i'm not so if i get it as a gift i'm not gonna be like oh why did they buy this for me they could have bought me ariana grande no i'm not gonna say that i'm gonna say oh thank you so much i appreciate this gift and truly love this gift so just to put it out there in case if my husband is watching this video it can be on your list baby for um a valentine or christmas whenever you want to get it i don't mind but yeah so let's move on <laughs> sorry so yes definitely um ariana grande it is a 65 percent match in my opinion and um it is the youthful version of the baccarat roads matures version and so you could say it is the mother and daughter or the father and son of itself so yeah let's leave it there and i think i have given a good breakdown of the baccarat roads versus ariana grande
clone and that's it for my review look after yourself wherever in the world you are and please check out my other video because i do have a lot in there just for you and on my channel as you know always honesty so i bring this to you with everything to help oh i hope it was useful so take care